mine. So I got a piece of his book personally given to me. Pakita ko lang sa inyo. This one. This is the book that I received from the author. Meron siyang personal message to me. Uh, signifying that we have uh, some close ties and he is actually responsible for training mga new pipe members of the parliament, members of the city council and other councils throughout the Philippines, including, of course, Vilma Santos, si uh, Goma, si Gomez. So let's proceed. The Taps of Gable. It is uh, imperative for the organization na dapat meron siyang gable. That is why when you have a turnover ceremony from the previous board to the new board, the symbol of authority is the gable. So you cannot preside a, uh, a meeting without this symbol of authority. And besides of the gable, when you handle a meeting, Make sure that you have the banner. So, kailangan yan because banner symbolizes that our your chapter is a duly accredited or recognized chapter of the Institute of Electronics Engineers. Okay? First, the three tops proceed the calling of the meeting to order. So you tap three times. I am now calling this meeting to order. So the chairman will say the meeting is now in order after the three taps. Two taps signify that the member shall rise for ritual. So meaning, if there are some, some ritual, including prayers, when you hear the two taps, meaning everyone in the room should rise for the rituals as part of the uh, procedures of the meeting. And then, one tap, it means to say everybody is commanded to sit down. So, hindi basta-basta na magtatap ka lang without its meaning. So, let's go back. Three taps before you will, the chairman will call the meeting to order. Second is two taps, meaning everybody is being commanded to rise for the rituals. One tap, meaning you have to sit down. So I am putting emphasis to commanded. You are not being requested, but you are commanded because you are part of an August body. When you hear series of taps, meaning multiple taps, the chairman is now giving a command, signifying or telling the body that there should be a restoration of dignity and order. So if everybody are talking, the chairman will have a multiple taps, meaning everybody should be quiet in order to restore the dignity and order of the meeting. Single tap, but very short. A single tap, soft tap signifies that the decision has been made. So if, for example, a resolution was passed and approved by the body, you have to tap, soft tap. It means to say 
that the resolution has been approved. Another short top, similar to a soft top, it means to say that the, uh, the, the meeting is in recess or adjournment. And we hear that during almost a commotion during the, the counting, the canvassing of the electro, electro, uh, electoral votes, yung, yung electoral schools sa, sa US, when the president, the vice president, who act as the presiding officer, said the meeting, this body has not been adjourned. Ang sabi niya, uh, similarly, sabi niya, tapos na ang trabaho ng, kwan, ng, ng, ng uh, body, it means to say, dissolve sila, automatic, because that is in accordance with the rules of, or the constitution of the United States. So, hindi lang niya ginawang adjournment, but he orders as part of the rules that the body has been dissolved. So, wala na silang trabaho because the trabaho is just to count the electoral votes. And when they did count, and they did count it, the mission, uh, since the goal was already been uh, achieved by the body, a single top signifies that it is now being dissolved. The chairman, ang um, medyo may maganda, may advantage, meron ding disadvantage of the present structure of ISEP. Pero, pero if you are going to review it, it appears to be that ISEP's structure has some problems. Because the chairman is also the president. Dapat magkaiba ang chairman, magkaiba ang presidente. Kasi when you are the chairman, meaning you are acting as the head of the board, meaning the policy-making body of the organization. When you are the president, you are supposed to implement the policy as approved by the board. So, tignan mo nangyari. We are also the chairman, at the same time, the executive officer. Kaya when you are going to have a board meeting, everybody has an equal footing. Lahat sila members of the board. Uh, sinasabi, board of trustees. So, they are all members. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, uh, good morning, Vice President, because there is no Vice President if you convene the body as a board. When you do a meeting for an executive meeting, then everybody will be addressed in accordance with their function and position, like good morning, Vice uh, Governor for Education. Tingnan mo, yung iba, nagmi-meeting, Kahit hindi executive, uh, executive meeting, ang tawag nila, uh, hindi nila tinatawag as member of the board. So, yun ang pagkakaiba. Pagka nagkaroon sila ng board meeting, they are still addressing the members of the board as based on their position as elected. So, nandun pa rin yung executive committee na dapat hindi yung executive officers Dapat members of the Board of Trustees. Which are, we are going to discuss it later pa. Okay? So this is the function of the chairman. It is the chairman who calls the meeting to order. It is the responsibility of the chairman to keep the meeting to its order of business. So if someone... If someone will input an issue that is not part of the order, then the chairman will call the attention that you are out of order. The chairman observes. This is the function of the chairman to observe 
proper decorum. It is the duty of the chairman to handle the discussion in an orderly way. That is why, if the agenda has been approved, kaya hindi pwedeng mag sasabihin nating agenda at the middle of the meeting. It is going to be done prior to the discussion because whatever the agenda that is being approved by the body that is the only items to be discussed if you amend that without the approval then whatever input that you will provide as not part of the agenda hindi pending it discuss it is the it is the reason why sa parliament sa congress na to na ay majority floor leader majority floor leader is actually responsible for putting the agenda and everybody is trying to convince the majority uh, majority floor leader to include their agenda kasi if the if the the subject will not be part of the agenda wala kayong i-discuss Remember what happened to the franchise of the ABS-CBN? It was not being agendaed, so no order of business that will discuss the renewal of ABS-CBN because it was never part of the calendar of agenda. Kaya yun ang iba maghahanap ng paraan to get their subject be part of the agenda of meeting. Kaya si majority floor leader is very, very important. The only problem, uh, the only difference of, I would say, the Philippines and the U.S. is wala tayong whip, majority whip ang tawag. So as, aside from the, major, uh, the majority floor leader, dapat meron tayong whip. The whip will convince the members of the parliament to support a certain bill. Sa ato po, sa atin, wala tayong ganyan. Kasi we don't also recognize, uh, as far as uh, the Philippines, no, we never recognize lobbyists. Because to us, when you are a lobbyist, meron siyang negative connotation. But in the U.S., that is a practice. It is a professional practice, ang lobbying. Okay? The fifth one, which is very important. The chairman will not discuss or will not take part of the discussion unless he relinquishes the chairmanship and give it to one of the members of the board. The chairman will only preside or be the traffic enforcer. He cannot or she cannot take part as discussant. He can only be he can only discuss the merits of the subject if and when he will step down and give way to another one that will preside in behalf of the chairman. There are occasions during the meeting that the chair will give the chairmanship as the presiding officer to the secretary. If you will notice that, it signals that the chairman would like to discuss a certain subject during the meeting. Okay? This is also the responsibility. It is a responsibility of the chair to give each and every member of the board the opportunity to speak and guide the member, if he has some problem, guide especially on the rules of order and to the question. 
the chairman should not waste time. The chairman should familiarize himself or herself to the parliamentary procedures. It's going to be awkward if the chairman doesn't know, doesn't know or not aware of the parliamentary procedures. And it's not it's very sad to recall an event at our national convention when the chairman doesn't even know on how to preside the the uh, the order of the meeting and when somebody asks why you are not presiding it the, the right way hindi niya alam na meron pala tayong procedure meron tayong practice that is embodied or th there is a provision in our constitution that the Roberts rule of parliamentary procedure is the procedure to be used during the handling of meeting. The chairman, bahala na kung mag-away ang, o medyo merong arguments on the members of the board, the chairman should shall always exercise self-control and not to be drawn in verbal wrangling. And the chairman provides exemplary facilitating leadership. So if you are familiar with the rules, nobody can put you down because that is a symbol of leadership because you are always putting the meeting in order. Just like a captain of the ship, alam nila kung saan sila papunta, Alam nila kung kailan sila matapos. Alam nila kung kailan sila makarating sa gusto nilang mapuntahan. Kaya, dragging, if there are examples of dragging or there are occasions where the meeting will be dragged, the chairman will have to stop it by way of ruling. Kaya the best example is our Senate President uh, Enrile. When everybody seems to be during the discussion, there was no there was no decision point. The chair, as what we have always uh, observed with Chairman President uh, Senate President Enrile, he will always tell the body. That the chairman will rule. So if the chairman will rule, then everybody should follow because uh, he is not trying to divide the house. Kasi hindi magandang example when we say, let us divide the house. We, we should not divide the house. Literally speaking, hindi maganda. At the same time, hindi talaga maganda if you are going to make the resolution into a vote. Mas maganda, building of concession, uh, building of uh, consensus from the members so that every time you have a meeting, if you want to discuss something, you will know the result. In my term as the president of 2012, I designated one as the majority floor. And before the meeting, it is my strategy to give copies of the resolution before the discussion so that whatever, whatever uh, opposition can be uh, mitigated. And during the meeting, wala nang opposition. It is more of a discussion just to give meaning to the purpose of the resolution. Because if you are going to make uh, to present the resolution during the meeting, most likely it will drag and might even divide the house. So it is 
better to just talk to the opposition. And that is part of the job of a majority floor leader. Sa US, ang tawag again, majority whip, W-H-I-P. Okay? And the president or the chairman of the board will, all, will not just give it to the secretary. Dapat assist the secretary in the preparation of the program of activities. This is where a period where the agenda will be included. Kaya dapat even before the preparation of the agenda, Kailangan members should be aware. Kaya the chairman will have to keep all the members fully informed. And even tell them the emerging problems and there are. The chairman, again, kaya ang daming trabaho si chairman. The chairman recognizes the speaker. When you say speaker, any member of the board. If a member or anybody will not be recognized, that particular member cannot speak. Kaya you cannot speak unless being recognized by the chair. And if there are multiple speakers, the chairman will decide the order of speaking. Kaya sinasabi niya, gentleman from Ilocos, you have to speak first, then gentleman from Sambuanga, gentleman from Jensan, and so on and so forth. The chairman restrains speaker within the limits of the rules. If the chairman will say, you have three minutes for you to speak your mind, or the floor is yours, and you are given three minutes, then you have to speak within the limit as ordered by the chair. Four, uh, when somebody from the members of the board will state a motion or submit a motion, the chairman has to repeat and state the motion as submitted by a member of the board. So before a vote will be given or will be introduced, the chairman will speak or state correctly the motion. So there is a motion. Blah, blah, blah. So we are now going to ask the, the board for a vote. So in deep wedding, oh, there is a motion. What is that motion? You have the chairman must state word for word. The chairman, it is within his power to enforce good decorum. It is also the chairman that declares recess or adjournment at any time during the meeting if decorum is not being observed properly. Kaya sa sinasabi ng chairman, The meeting has been recessed or adjourned for three, uh, or recessed for three minutes. Sa parliament, sa congress natin, if there is a recess, kinukuha nila yung symbol of authority. And that is the parang, di ba nakita nyo dati na nag-away kasi somebody took the symbol of authority from the congress. ECA pa naman yun. Nung nakita niya, sinuntok niya. Kasi if walang, wala yung symbol, nothing must be agreed. Nothing to be voted. Kaya symbol is actually the authority. Kilala niyo yun. Nakasama ko pa yun sa ano, one of the meetings and travel. So I asked him personally, what happened? Sabi niya, my emotion got me. The chairman creates or appoints committee when necessary and he is authorized to do so and if the law provides. The chairman assists in working of motion if 
the proposal request assistance. So pag nahirapan yung yung ano, yung proponent, then the chairman has to assist that proponent. The chairman exercises impartiality. That is why the chairman will not vote unless there is a tie. Kasi nga, he has or she has to maintain impartiality. Remember, he is just a presiding officer every time a meeting is being held. The chairman will also decide the manner of voting. Ano gusto nyo? Secret balloting or by voice in certain cases. They also vote, of course, if allowed. But it is more of a practice for the chair not to vote unless there is a tie. The chairman put, puts the motion to a vote and subsequently announces the result. Hindi pwedeng itago yung result. Okay? The corporate secretary, ano bang function niya? Ano bang responsibility niya? May mga chapter tayo na sinasabi nila they have their secretary general. Uh, medyo mali po yun. The chapter will only have a secretary. The title of secretary general belongs to GAID because they are the central or the main office. So he is the secretary general of all the general uh, the, the secretaries of the chapter. Kaya pag meron tayong chapter secretary, ang tawag natin chapter secretary lang. Hindi siya pwedeng tawaging secretary general. Kaya tayo sa Pilipinas, marami tayong solicitor. But there is, there is only one solicitor general. Okay? The secretary keeps accurate record of what transpired during the meeting. Kaya nga, we demand not just request a copy of the minutes because if there are inaccuracy of what transpired during the meeting, every member of the board should know it because if nobody will object, then that document will become final and executory. Records and updated or up-to-date role of the members. Very clear because this is very material. This is a material evidence. If there are questions as to the quorum or if there are votes, only members in good standing are supposed to be recognized. Maintains a record of all the committees. And the committees, even the composition, should be approved. There should be a document that attests the approval of the formation of the committee and its composition. It is also imper imperative that every time you have a meeting, a copy of the constitution and bylaws should be should be present. But there should be a copy of the constitution and bylaws. Because if there are some issues, then you can always refer to the bylaws. Mahirap kung wala kang copy of the bylaws. And the bylaws, kaya sinasabi natin, there are bylaws that might not be the true bylaws. Kaya ang sinasabi, when you keep a copy of the bylaws, make sure that that is a certificated or the certified copy of the bylaws. Certified true. Kasi meron tayong year when there are two copies of the bylaws. Uh, iba ang laman ng bawat bylaw, a copies of that bylaw, bylaws. So make sure that you have the right copy. So I told even when there was a turnover of leadership, I told the president, get a copy that is 
authenticated by the sect because there might be something that one of the members will tell and you follow because that is what you you, you have known as far as uh, as far as that member is giving information but it turned out to be that is not a provision as approved by the sect the secretary provides a list of pending and potential business for the chair so if there are unfinished business the secretary has to communicate this to the chair prepares the minutes of the meeting immediately after adjournment pero in practice and reality we cannot even see a copy of the minutes but it is part of the procedure that the minutes should be available after the adjournment of the meeting. Okay lang sana kung a week before the meeting, merong copy of the minutes. Uh, the worst part is walang copy. The chair, uh, the, uh, the secretary handles all correspondence of the institute. The, the secretary will notify members about a meeting of there are if there are meetings it is the responsibility of the secretary to inform each members of the board the secretary's duty is also to record all the approved resolutions policies minutes and agenda the reporter Ito, wala tayo. But, sa Robert's rule, there must be a reporter. The reporter, uh, ginawa rin namin to during our time through the majority leader to ask a copy of the resolution. And then, in writing lahat answers all questions to the chairman and ends his or her report by presenting a motion for his adoption of approval. So, halimbawa, if you are, sa atin, if you are a chairman of a certain committee, when you report, you are actually the institute's reporter. So that is how we are going, how we interpret as far as the context ng ISEP. So, if you are going to report as a member or, 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 or as the chairman of the committee, you are actually the institute reporter. Then after you report, you have to give a motion for adoption or approval of your report. The board of directors, so ito yung mga board of trustees as far as the chapters or the local chapters are concerned. The board of directors is a collegial body. Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo, when you have a meeting as board meeting, hindi pwedeng tawagin ang members based on their position sa executive. Lahat equal. Kasi collegial body, when you say collegial body, equal vote. So, equal entitlement. Kaya pagka nag-meeting kayo, kaya tayo medyo nalito kasi ang structure na the chair is also the president. Pero dapat hindi ganyan. Parang sa local government, when you say the board that is actually the city council or the municipal council or the council. And then, whatever the output of the council, either it is through a, an ordinance, it will be implemented. So, the implementer is the executive, which is the mayor. So, atin sana, when the meeting of the board 
will result to a resolution that resolution should be implemented by the president. Sa atin lang, the president happens to be the chairman. Kaya powerful siya. Siya ang chairman at the same time siya mag-execute. Members' responsibility. When you say members' responsibility, all the members of the board. Before the meeting, member may discuss with the chairman items not clearly understood. Inclusion to agenda and committee reportorial. Kaya ito, ito yung mga uh, stage where there are some compromise and there are some lobbying para lang ma may agenda, mapasama sa agenda at para lang ang committee report will be included as part of the agenda. Each member should prepare thoroughly all items needed during the meeting. Should write down and distribute in advance lengthy reports and proposals. Kaya yung sinasabi ko, before the meeting, there should be a draft resolution na. Kasi it will drag the meeting if you don't have any draft resolution. The, meet, the members shall keep himself updated in all matters uh, which may come during the meeting to help eliminate the questions. Kaya maganda rin ang setup sa US that they have this majority whip. Trying to convince and get a consensus of all the members of the parliament. Kaya tinatawag nila political mapping. Who are against the bill who are in favor of the bill for those who are in favor of the bill sustain its support for those who are against the bill make sure that they will change their mind kaya meron silang tinatawag political mapping ilang votes ang kailangan to approve a certain bill okay members kaya very revealing to sa nangyari sa US. Get facts and reject suppositions. Kaya even si Vice President, uh, si Vice President Pence, they are trying to reject all the suppositions. Yung mga hang, tathang isip lang. Kaya nagkaroon ng problema but they are going to deliver because that is their function. Otherwise, all the members of the board or sa parliament will be questionable by their own constitution. Tayo ganun din. If there are issues without hard facts, then reject it. Another important responsibilities are the following. Present the viewpoint to be known especially on important matters rather than grumble and complain after the meeting. Eh, maraming ganito. Hindi sumasali sa discussion. Bigla na lang nagwala or natalo sa discussion, voted against, tapos nagwala sa labas. Hindi pwede. The moment a decision has been reached, everybody should respect that decision. So if you are a part of the EAGM last year, may nagtanong, na isang member when the board was trying to secure a ratification of all the acts sabi nila bakit namin i approve ang motion to ratify samantalang hindi namin alam ang laman ng mga resolutions na yan there are two things as part of our learnings 
Dapat, hindi na i-present yung specifics. All you have to do is just to present a motion to ratify all the acts of the, press, uh, acts of the board. Hindi sasabihin mo, for each and every resolution, i-present mo. Because, remember, the board of directors are directly elected by the members. So, whatever act that they are, they have done, it is a representative of the general membership. So, when they discuss it, it means to say, they are representing the interests of the members. Which means, members are not supposed to tell the board that hindi naman kami kasali doon sa discussion. The mere fact that you voted the members of the board, it means to say, whatever actions of the member of the board will become binding to the institute. Okay? So, learning natin yan. Each member address not as presiding woman or chair lady, but address her as Madam Chairman. So, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, Madam uh, Chairwoman, it should be Madam Chairman. Maybe you will, you will uh, complain or this will become an issue to you. Nasaan yung gender sensitivity? Remember, this is Robert's rule. Siya ang sumulat. Unless there is a new version, then we might as well follow whatever version as approved by the heirs of the Robert's rule. Kaya tawag natin, Madam Chairman. Members should avoid discussion using personalities or insulting words. Remember, this is an August body. We are part of the August body. Dignified body. Impressive body. So why not, why insult if you are within as part of the August body? We saw many countries that are quarreling, in fact, throwing chairs. But in that case, you can be removed or impeached in that area because you are insulting the August body. Members should be tactful always and courteous in manner and language. Kaya ito yung mga eloquent speakers. If you will hear that the meeting is being done in accordance with the rules, you will find the proceedings as dignified. Magandang pakinggan. Hindi siya sa kanto. You will find the meeting dignified. Ito. Members should come early for the meeting. Presence may be needed to determine a quorum. And we will discuss what is quorum later. If chairman does not limit debate, every member should speak only for three minutes the most. Kaya, you are given three minutes to state your issue. After three minutes, the chair will have to proceed to the next topic or next speaker. Kung elected ka, may, may tinatawa, pilibister, do na umihi dahil para lang hindi ma-adjourn because you have that privilege hour. So before the meeting, the house rule should be presented to prevent people from speaking more than the allowed time. Maging pelibester ka na. Okay? The three basic rules governing the meeting. 
First, existence of quorum. Yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. If the meeting is not in quorum, whatever being discussed during the meeting is not binding. So if we are going to read it, no action taken at the meeting is legally binding unless a quorum existed. Kaya prior to the discussion, prior to the submission or presentation of motion, the chair has to declare that there is a quorum. And this quorum must be verbalized by the secretary of the institute. The rule is, once a quorum has been constituted, the business of the meeting proceeds. If during the progress of the meeting, some members leave, halimbawa, umalis ka, hindi ka na bumalik, and then you will state, when there was, uh, there were several motions that were approved, then nag-complain ka later that there was no quorum because umalis kami, the group, hindi na yon hindi siya uh, tinatawag natin na uh, tama yung mga umalis because the quorum was already constituted. Kaya ang ginagawa ng mga members of the Congress, mga congressmen natin, pag umalis sila sa chamber, meron, sinasabi nila there should be a loudspeaker para mapakinggan namin because they will go back if there are issues that are hotly uh, discussed, being discussed, and they will be part of the voting. Pag wala ka dyan, umalis ka. And then whatever the decision of the board, even if left with few, with, which is less than 50%, whatever they discuss is still binding because the quorum was already being, uh, was already, uh, has been constituted. Kaya ang ginagawa ng lahat, Ibang strategy, pag merong bill, tinatanggal nila yung iba, magkape sila sa labas, yun pala, they are just misleading these members of the parliament so that they will not, if, especially if they are opposing to the proposed bill. Kaya, ingatan. So whatever actions, as I have mentioned, during the meeting, Tapos umalis na, wala nang quorum, during the later stages of the meeting, whatever decision will become valid and executory. Two, the second basic rule of governing the meeting, observance of the order of meeting. After a quorum has been constituted, the meeting proceeds with the order of business. As a rule, the order of business cannot be arbitrarily rearranged without making a formal motion to this effect and duly approved by the body. Kaya nga eh, pagka pumasok ka, na hindi siya in order, kaya in a, they will call the attention. You will be, your attention will be called. That is in, not out of order. You are out of order. So you cannot speak. The third, Rules on speaking properly must be observed. A member must seek first recognition. So if you are not being recognized by the chair, you cannot talk. Methods to obtain the floor may be done by raising hand, standing up, and saying, Mr. Chairman, may I have the floor? Kaya natin naririnig to. Or by combination of raising hand at the same time, standing up and saying, Mr. Chairman, may I have the floor? So you are dignified. If two or more members seek recognition, the chairman shall be guided by the following rules. 
the proponent, the author of the motion, should be given priority to speak first. Logical. The member who has not spoken on the immediate pending question has the priority over the one who has already spoken on it. Logical din naman. The chair should give equal opportunity, kasi collegial body nga eh, to members to speak out their views on the other side of the issue. We hear this, this from the U.S. Parliament, from the other side of the island. Diba? So meaning from the other side, meaning from the other party. Kasi doon sa kanila, partisan, Democrat, tsaka Republican. Sa atin sana, wala namang ganyan. All matters, all matters being equal, as a collegial body, the members who seldom speak is given preference. And lastly, a non-speaking member must be encouraged by the chair to participate. Eh, marami rin naman ganyan. Committee on Silence. Sayang ang binoto sa kanya, hindi naman siya nagsasalita. The order of business, ito, uh, uh, especially those who are new sa, as members of the board. Balik tayo, three taps, then the chair, the first regular DOD meeting for ICEP year, ito, ano lang naman to, uh, depende sa inyo for the year 2021 will now please come to order. So after the three taps, you are, uh, you are ordering the meeting or you are pleased to come to meeting in order. So the chair stands, the meeting to order. Two taps, as I have said, the chair may tap which signifies the starting point for the ritual. When the body is seated and silent, the chair will then say, says, is there a quorum, Mr. Secretary or Ms. Secretary? The secretary replies, yes, Mr. Chairman or Madam Chairman, there is a quorum as all the members are present or majority of the members are present. So, um, balik tayo, three taps, the meeting will now come to order. Two taps, meaning ritual, single tap, meaning stand up, or sit down, or if there are approval of the resolution or motion. Minutes of the last meeting. So, balik tayo. Una, order. Determination of the quorum. If there is a quorum, proceed to the minutes of the last board meeting. The chair will, will state, Madam Secretary or Mr. Secretary, please read the minutes of the last meeting. The minutes, sasabihin ni Secretary, the minutes of the last meeting, blah, blah, blah. And there is a motion to dispense the reading of the minutes. Sabihin ni President, uh, ni Chairman, okay, there is a motion. Any objection? If there, there being none, the motion is carried. So, the Chair will say, is there any correction of the minutes? If there are none, the minutes stand approved as read. Okay, reading of the minutes may be dispensed. Yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, if there is a motion. So it's good to furnish copies of the minutes ahead of the meeting. Okay? Sandali lang. Mrs. Cole. After the reading of the minutes, 
the chair will present the agenda. The chair, Mr. or Madam Secretary, please state the agenda for today's meeting. The Secretary will state the agenda as follows. The approval of the agenda takes precedence before all matters can be taken up by the body. Remember, the agenda must first be approved by the body before all matters, all other matters can be taken up by the, agenda, by the body. The chairman will now ask the body for a motion to approve the agenda. Okay? Committee may report may take place after the approval of the agenda. Ito, na, uh, nakalimutan na rin ng iba. Kasi wala na yung mga committee reports. The committee is very important because this is part of your strategic plan. Saan na ba kayo as far as the approved objectives of your association? So it is imperative, imperative for the committee to report its accomplishment. Okay? After the presentation of the committee report, or kung walang committee report, any resolutions or proposed resolutions. Afterwards, if all are being are, are done and approved by the body, the chair will now state, is there any unfinished business during the last meeting? If none, the chair will now open for new business. This is where, after the, the uh, uh, correction, no? after the committee reports, any new resolutions, new business is now open for discussion. Okay? Only one motion can be considered at a time. Hindi pwede yung dalawang motion. One motion should be processed. Per, uh, per, process. Hindi pwede dalawa. Until that motion will be carried out, either an approval or disapproval, there is no other motion uh, will be discussed during the meeting. After that, are there any announcements? If none, as sabihin ng chairman, the first regular BOD meeting is hereby adjourned. And is also the duty of the chairman to express gratitude after the adjournment. Maraming salamat. I'll see you for the next meeting. If you still remembered, meron tayong isang national, uh, meron tayong AGM annual general membership na hindi na-adjourn ng chairman. So, tumakbo tayo uh, with our representation that the chair should adjourn the meeting. Otherwise, continue siya. Meron din tayong isang uh, board meeting na hindi ma-resolve during the AGM. So, I just told the chairman to just uh, uh, invite a motion to recess the meeting. So meaning, hindi siya adjourn, recess, meaning it is still, uh, the, the subject is still pending for approval or disapproval. Handling of motions. Ito, importante. Step one. The presentation of motion. A member rises from the floor and seeks recognition from the chair. Sabi niya, Mr. Chairman or Madam Chairman, may I have the floor? Then the chairman recognizes the member. 
if the member is now being recognized, that's the only time the member will present a motion. May I have the floor? Uh, I move. So that is the motion of the uh, particular member. I move that blah, 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 XXX. Okay? Mr. Chairman, I move. Then state the blah, 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 state the motion. And that particular motion cannot be discussed or it is not yet owned by the August body if that motion will not be seconded. Meaning, a second demotion will put that motion for discussion. Otherwise, it will just be, it will just remain as a motion and it is not yet owned by the body because nobody seconded that motion. So, second demotion, it appears to be very ordinary, not important, but for an August body under the Roberts rule, that motion is considered killed because nobody seconded it. Parang irregular lang siya, no? Na nagsa-second demotion, but very important pala yun. Otherwise, walang nangyayari doon sa motion. As I have uh, mentioned a while ago, that the chair will state again the motion. Sabi niya, it has been moved by Senator Drelon. Si Senator Drelon, kasama natin, si Carlo. And duly seconded by Member Myung. At this point, the motion passes and becomes a property of the body. Motion becomes a question because you are asking the body whether to approve or disapprove it. If it will be withdrawn or modified by anybody, it means to say, uh, anybody, it cannot be uh, withdrawn or modified by anybody except by the author itself. Or if the author gives consent to the assembly. So, in this year, pwedeng modify, this year, pwedeng withdrawn by anybody except by the author or if the author will consent it. The chair will then as remarks, pressure of the body on the motion. So, second demotion, meaning owned by the body, owned by the assembly, it, we will now proceed to the discussion. Any remarks, comments of the motion? If there being none, the motion is carried. Okay? Notes, all debates must bear a direct relation to some definite questions which is under consideration. consideration. A member has no right to speak on the motion not yet made as there, are, there is no question. Parang, kanino, uh, parang kanina, sinasabi natin. Unless it is being seconded, then nothing to be discussed about that motion. All discussion must be addressed to the chair. Kaya, when you are going to react or make a, make a comment, kahit na katabi mo pa siya, you are not going to address him directly. It should go to the chairman, being the chairman as the presiding officer. The chair must not participate again unless he or she relinquishes his chairmanship or her chairmanship. He has to step down before 
being allowed to discuss. Referee lang talaga ang chairman. Okay? When the discussion stops, the chair will say, any further discussion? If none, any amendment? And then somebody among the members of that uh, board of trustees will say, and ask for recognition and says, amendment, Mr. Chairman, after recognizing that particular member, the chair will say, will say, Will you please state your amendment, gentleman from Ilocos? Sabihin ka agad ni chairman or gentleman from Ilocos, I move to amend the main motion. Then state it. Amendment by deletion, amendment by insertion, amendment by substitution, and amendment by addition. So, all amendments shall be treated and with uh, using the four basic methods of amendments after presentation of the amendment uh, also known as the first degree first degree amendment or first degree member x says i second the motion to amend mr chairman the chairman will now say it has been moved by the gentleman from Ilocos, duly seconded by the gentleman from Jensen, to amend the main motion. The chairman will proceed by saying any discussion. When the discussion stops, the chairman will say, is there any discussion to the amendment? If none, any there is there any amendment to be amended? Ito yung second degree. If there is none, then the motion as amended has been approved or carried. Okay? So th these are the procedures on handling the motions. And this is quite tricky, but I am going to give this, uh, I mean, uh, give this presentation to each and every member of the board for their guidance. And in fact, I suggested to our former president, si Madam uh, Imelda, na magkaroon tayo ng book on handling of meetings. And I, am, uh, I would like to commend our president and chairman of the board in 2019, that she decided to publish the handling of meetings as part of the um, book that he shared to all the chapters. And it becomes a guiding uh, book for all the chapters in compliance with the Constitution and Bylaws of ISEP. So this is not the, the, the this slide is no longer uh, quite applicable because uh, most of the meetings will not reach at this stage. Okay, so I will just leave it to you to read and be aware if times or if merits your attention, then use this as far as handling the motions. Okay, and this is all about amendments, modification of the previous uh, motion uh, submitted by a certain member. Okay, ito yung sinasabing divide the house. Majority, if there are some votes to be considered as part of the procedure, majority, a simple majority, is enough for the approval of a certain motion. Okay, I would like to 
ask for your attention on the red uh, colored text. This is a note that every time a motion is carried, it is customary for all the members of the body to clap. It's not easy to handle emotion, to handle a particular resolution. If that is successfully handled, it is customary for each and every member to clap because it symbolizes unity among the members of the board. Amendment may be up to the second degree and denominated as an amendment to the amendment. I think sinasabi ko na at this point, hindi naman natin na-attain or we never experienced such stage of discussion. But if you are confronted with this discussion, this stage, then use this as your guide on how to handle an amendment to the amendment of the motion. Okay? Thank you so much. And I am now willing to be grilled. And as I have uh, mentioned previously before the presentation that let us talk candidly for me to at least uh, within my, 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 uh, my knowledge on how to guide our members because this is very important for all of us, especially if we are going to attend meetings that are not being sponsored by ISEF or not being conducted by ISEF. Okay, thank you so much. Back to you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you very much, Engineer Ted.